this video, we're going to be having a look at XRP right now, currently exploding 40% in the past three days. If you guys saw my video five days ago, I said XRP Ripple breaking out, huge massive breakout incoming right here, 1,000 views. I got no views on that video. And if we dive into CoinMarketCap, we can see right here the volume is up $7 billion in the past 24 hours. So we are up over 100%, which is absolutely insane. Markup is sitting at 25 billion. We're currently ranked number six, traded at 50 cents. So, of course, guys, I did mention a trade yesterday, which we obviously got stop loss. And if you guys took my trade today on CAG, before I get into a technical analysis on Ripple, we are actually in a short right now. And as you guys can see, I mentioned short at CAG right here, entry now, take profit 20, uh, take profit would be 26.40, and the stop loss would be 28.28. And CAG is actually dumping right now as we're speaking. So if you guys took that trade, you're making money. And of course, guys, if you want to trade XRP futures short or long, make sure you join my link in the description below. You could deposit and win up to $9,100. The, the event ends in 8 days, 7 hours, and 21 minutes. So make sure you sign up now. And let's dive in straight into XRP and see what's up. Starting off with a daily time frame. Actually, let's go with a weekly time frame because the weekly time frame is actually more important. If you guys saw my video when I mentioned on XRP the breakout, it was approximately right here. We were in a w, uh, w pattern, right? W pattern is essentially a double bottom. This was a double bottom right here. And of course, the reason why I made the video was because they could win or potentially win the case against the SEC. So of course, there was a lot of good and positive signs. And of course, we saw this nice W pattern right here. Now, I mentioned that if we do break this resistance right here sitting on XRP, then we would essentially explode. And my target was exactly right here, actually. Now, why? Because this is a resistance. This was a support right here. We had another support right here, which was a rejection, right? And we know when we we're below support, that essentially becomes a resistance. And this is exactly what is happening right now. You could actually extend the rectangle or the square a little bit below 255 because we do have the wick sitting right here. So we did get a nice little rejection right here. The question is, is are we going to be able to break? this resistance and come above 60 65 cents before coming back down or are we going to correct back straight to 40 cents if i were you guys i would not long xrp on leverage especially during this time right now because there's a there's going to be a lot of volatility and it's going to be very very dangerous and a lot of people are getting liquidated right now and of course if we have a look at the stochastic rsi we could see that the last time we were this high was actually right here on the 21st of march 2022 now we know what happened when the stochastic rsi flipped right um we we were over overbought right here investors were looking to sell because we know every time we're above 77 or 80 investors look to to sell and every time we're below 20 investors are looking to buy and this is pretty much exactly what happened happened right here i mean investors were looking to buy right here we were over oversold right here on the stochastic rsi and the same thing happened right here on january and now the same thing happened again on june or in june and we had this nice little w pattern and essentially explode now are the stochastic rsi going to come down are we going to have that pullback that everyone's waiting for yes maybe maybe not on the daily time frame this is a clear ugly candle i mean there's no question volume did go up and it's actually decreasing right now let's have a look on the shorter time frame looking at the ex exponential Ever since we broke out the EMA ribbon right here, we saw a nice little uh, support, right? So can XRP actually come down to as low as 44, 45 cents before bouncing back up? Yes, EMA ribbons have been have been a big, big, big part of these uh, of these charts. Obviously, if we have a look at the one hour time frame, we could see that they've been holding us pretty well. And the bigger we get on the bigger the and the higher time frame we get on uh, with the EMA ribbon, the more accurate it is. So on the four hour time frame, for example, if we have a look at Lunk real quick and we take out the EMA ribbon, we could see that ever since we broke out of here, we essentially always came back down and retested. So things are looking good. Corrections are gonna happen, especially for XRP guys. Having literally, I don't even know, like 40 billion, not, not 40 billion, having $10 billion flow in into XRP as a market cap is a lot of money. Like, yes, it might not be exploding. People say, oh, it's only up 18%. But $10 billion, guys, has flown into XRP in the past four days. That is a lot of money. That is not peanuts. Anyways, going back into the charts real quick, XRP is actually currently uh, correcting right now as I am speaking. So if I have a look on the one hour time frame, we did have right here a nice uh, little rejection. And now we're just coming back down. This is known as the Bart Simpson pattern right here where we just explode, consolidate, and then come back down. My target for XRP in the immediate short term would approximately be right here, anywhere between 49 and 47 cents. 
of course we could come back up right here after we reach these levels but i wouldn't be shorting right now i'm not going to be longing if you want you could take a long right here it's not financial advice you guys can obviously come to my signal group sign up and then i will be putting a signal on there shortly but overall this is my short video on xrp if you guys like this video don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and i will see you fuckers i'm kidding i will see you guys in my next video tomorrow i'm gonna have to cut that video i can't curse on youtube or else they don't pay me